Now I have an assortment of mallets and hammers. That was a sledgehammer. This here, that's a claw hammer. It's very common. Now I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to go straight over to my framing hammer. It's very distinct in the way it looks. Right next door is a woodworking mallet and I use that mostly for woodworking. Now the one that I skipped in the center is unlike any of the others. It's what they call a dead blow hammer. And when you strike a surface with it, it really delivers a dead blow. It's perfect for people that are doing delicate work, like metal work. Woodworkers use it for joints and all like that. And it's also used by mechanics. Now, I'm going to pick up a more traditional hammer, like, um, like my framing hammer here. And if you notice, when you strike it, there's vibration, there's recoil. And the same is true when you use a claw hammer. You strike that, there's recoil, vibration. Not at all with a dead blow hammer. There's no recoil. Now I'm going to use a dead blow hammer on a metal door frame that's coming apart that I don't want to dent. I'm going to give it a few wraps there. There we go. And no dents. So I want to mention this last thing, and that is, this is a traditional dead blow hammer, and that means it's hollow inside and filled with either sand or still shot, which is responsible for creating the dead blow. Now, dead blow hammers are fairly inexpensive. I think I picked mine up for about five bucks. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.